Good morning, you guys. So, um, I am leaving to go and get my nails, toes, my Brazilian wax, um, and my hair done because I have to get caught up on all my maintenance. Sorry, you guys are in a weird spot because my, um, phone holder that I keep in my car so when I vlog it can just be on it it broke so you guys are in an awkward spot but nonetheless I you can still hear me and I can still see you so hopefully it will last for us but anywho happy vlogmas sorry I didn't uh, formally introduce vlogmas on my last vlog my vlog of day one and day two sorry you guys that I didn't formally introduce vlogmas but it is vlogmas so I will be doing 12 days of vlogmas um, meaning that I will post on all the odd days up until um, Christmas so and then I'm not sure if I'm going to post my Christmas vlog on Christmas or if I'm going to post um my christmas vlog the day after christmas on the 26th so that you guys can either see what we got or i don't know yet i haven't made my mind up just yet but i just wanted to let you guys know what the plan is excuse my wretched ass nail it came off on yesterday um while i was at work so i'm like oh i'm so glad my nail appointment is tomorrow which is today because let me get y'all that situated. I had y'all situated in here, and now my let me see if that will hold. It's just a, a rocky road, so it's kind of shaking my my renege project that I did. Well, not renege, but my rigged <laughs> my rigged project that I just. Yeah, but anywho, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do early this morning. It is 8 09 in the morning. Like, uh, I hate getting up on my day off this early. Um, I just hate doing it. I just, I just hate it. I just hate it. So yeah, but anywho, um, I just want you guys to know that, um, this is what I'm doing today, and today is the third. So, I'm going to try to get the vlog up um, on tonight or maybe tomorrow morning. I'm not sure because so, I don't know if I just want to start just posting on every even day now since I'm, um, I'm on the even days now. I'm not sure, y'all. But just bear with me and as I post videos, you guys can see 
how the schedule goes. Um, so what else we have for this Vlogmas? So Vlogmas, we have, of course, um, Christmas shopping, Christmas things. Um, we'll probably do doing lots of Christmas things. Um, what else? Of course, my maintenance vlog. So I probably have like two maintenance vlogs within Vlogmas because I go get maintenance every two weeks. So this is one week. So then like the week either before or the week of Christmas, I'll get another maintenance. So you'll probably see two maintenance vlogs. Um, of course, I wanted to do some DIYs that I seen for Christmas. Of course, I've seen them on the girlies on TikTok doing their thingamajigs. Um, and me and one of my um, friends that I work with, she <coughs> was wanting to do some of the DIYs as well. So we'll probably go Dollar General and get some stuff to do DIYs or I may just do the DIYs myself and then record it and upload it for you guys. So we have some plans, we have some plans. Of course we have date nights because me and my husband, we still date each other. Um, we've been together for 18 years, since 2003. Yeah, so since I think June, no, July, August, that is crazy. What, what, what was it? We met <laughs> over the summer of 2003. How about that? I'm just gonna generalize it. So, um, we met in the summer of 2003. Um, we're still together. Like I said, I dated him when I was in high school up until now. Um, so that's 18 years? 18 years. I'm pretty sure it's 18 years. So, me and my husband have been together for 18 years. We've been married um, since 2010, so like 11, 12 years, yeah, so we've been, nonetheless y'all, me and my husband have been together for a long fucking time, <laughs> a long damn time, but, um, anyway, so I don't even know where I, oh, I was telling y'all that I date, we still date each other, which we do, um, let's see, I want to try some different restaurants. Um, I had like two or three in mind in Atlanta and then my child wanted to go to this place in Atlanta. So I'll probably record that. So we'll probably do that, not this weekend, but the next, but the following weekend, we'll probably take him because he wanted to go so bad. And I wanted to go as well. Um, because we have, I, I don't know. We, he likes to eat, I like to eat, so we want to try this place, so we're going to try it just because Aiden wants us to. Um, so put that on the agenda. My Oh, my! let me tell y'all, so my middle son is no longer playing um, basketball. He got hurt yesterday at his basketball game. He hurt his knee, which he have always had knee trouble, but I never took him to the, um, the orthopedics. So... Um, now, I officially have them to take him to the orthopedic. It's not like it's swollen. It's not like it's coming out of soccer or anything like that. But it is giving him a lot of trouble, especially when he run. Um, and, you know, basketball is a lot of movement, different kind of movement, swift, sharp, all types of movement. So, um, he complains about it hurts. It hurts really bad. So, um, he went to, they have a trainer. Um and I don't know what else you can call them, a physical therapist. I would say a physical therapist because that's what we call them at work that, you know, help with like, um, or ortho tech. I don't, I don't know what you can call them. Sorry, if, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I'm sorry, but this is what I'm calling them. Either physically, she's either a physical therapist or ortho tech at the school. Um, and she recommended that we go ahead and take it to orthopedics, uh, orthopedics to see his knee because he's been complaining since right after football. So we're gonna get him in um, to see what it's all about. Hopefully they can see him on Monday while my husband is off. <sighs> because I don't wanna take a day off. I don't wanna get out of work early. Even though I get off at, I get off early every day. But I just don't want to go all the way to school, come all the way back, mm, that's a lot of driving. But anywho. I say this to say, nonetheless, I say this to say, he won't be playing um, basketball this, this season. He will be sitting out, and he is not happy about it, but he understands. So, 
he is an athlete at heart. Um, he plays for he plays JV basketball and he plays varsity football. So um, once we get all the details of what's going on with his knee, depending on what the orthopedic says, um, we'll go from there. But as of now, he's not playing uh, basketball. But just like my husband was saying, my Hakeem is. He is focused on football. That is his thing. That is his jam. He love it. He, he loves football. But he loves basketball as well. But he loves football more. Um, so they're already been recruiting him. He's already like sending film to schools. Like they're already looking at him. So like we said, what, what do you want to do? I mean, do you want to have to continue to hurt your knee playing basketball? Or do you want to put all your, all your eggs in your football, in your football journey, um, and then go from there? But, yeah. So, I've been talking here for like 10 minutes. <laughs> so, this is kind of a chatty vlog. So, it'll be chatty, and then you will see me come back on um, to see my maintenance stuff. So, it'll probably be a longer vlog. It'll probably be like, mm, I'll say a good 30 minutes, 20 20 to 30 minutes um, type of vlog because I know my first vlog was kind of short. It was like 13 minutes, 13, 15 minutes, which um, these, since I'm vlogging like every other day, it won't be long, y'all. So I don't think I'm going to have an hour-long vlog because I did see a comment of a young lady was saying how she liked the hour-long vlogs that I put out, but mm, not these, darling. You will have to look at every other day to get your, <laughs> your hour-long vlog. But yeah. Alright, guys. So I am headed to my nail tech. Um, to get my nails done. I am not sure what I'm doing, but I know I am going to use this Coca-Cola Red by OPI. It's a gel polish. Look how pretty and bright that red is. Like, oh my god. I love it. I had this on my toes. I get it on my toes. And I have my nails done this color every year. Um, every year in December. So, yeah. I only pulled red out in December. Look how look at that. It looks so pretty. But I only pulled red out in December. Um, of course, to be festive for the holidays. Um, I don't usually wear red. Red is not my jam. But I do it for Christmas, thank December. That, that, that whole now. But y'all, my nail looks so fucking red. Ah! Alright. I'm outside in a damn Jeep, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas brown, I ain't it, guy, gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by, I'm outside in a damn Jeep, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, you know me, Call the shorty off a fence, dog. Just the one I'm ready to surprise y'all. Wait it up. All right, you guys. So I just got done getting my nails done. These are my nails. So I have like a sweater nail over here and just a double line, um, like French tip. And I did get the red color. Um, so here's a close up look. This is what they look like. Y'all, I love my nails. And again, the, it is an OPI gel polish. And it is in Coca-Cola red. So, yep. These are my sweater nail and my double on. And I love them. I actually love my nails. So, this is to get Vlogmas and the Christmas season started. And now I'm about to head to get my toes done because my nail tech doesn't do. She does do pedicures, but I prefer um, my girl that I always have done my pedicures. Um, she does an amazing job with my pedicures, and I and I love the way she does them. So I'm gonna stick with her. Sorry, I'm gonna get y'all out of this weird angle. Once I um, order it off my 
my little stand thing for my phone off Amazon. <clears throat> so yeah, I'll get y'all out of this weird funk. Like you look at my steering wheel and then me. But yeah, so I'm headed to get, I think I'm gonna get me some Chick-fil-A and then I'ma head down to, then I'ma head to get my toes done. And then after my toes, I'll get my wax. But then after my wax, I think I'ma go to the African um, hair salon just to get them to um, wash my hair get them to wash my hair and to um, wash it and braid it down so I can put my clip my clip in down so yeah that's what I'm doing now so I will catch y'all once I get to uh, Chick-fil-a I'm so sleepy um I will like a how do your nuggets come uh, five eggs on a 35 is for the kids' meal. Um, give me a 12 count. Nugget meal. Nugget, nugget meal. So nugget meal. Any dipping sauce? Um, the, is it the smokehouse? Uh, no. Chick fil A sauce? No, it's smoked, whatever it is. Uh, we don't have the smokehouse anymore. Uh -huh. uh, barbecue, buffalo, Chick fil A, honey mustard. Homemade. Are you talking about the honey roasted barbecue? Yes. Okay, honey roasted barbecue sauce. And what would you like your drink to be? Um, give me a sweet tea, but I want to upsize my fry. All right, so that's fine. Sweet tea, anything else? That's it. All right, seven and seven. Are you taking cash or card? Um, card. I'll take that right here. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Woo, I've never been to a Chick fil A where the workers didn't have any personality, and that was definitely not none. Not at all. None. Anywho, that kind of took me to me by surprise, but it is what it is. Um, mm, but whatever. So, <laughs> Jesus. Um, but ugh, that just took me by surprise, y'all. I don't know why. That just, mm, it's just so. I'm not used to Chick-fil-A being like that. I'm used to Chick-fil-A being like more personable, more like nicer, I guess. Not feeling like you're rushed, even though it's a long freaking line right around the building. I, I ne I've never felt rushed. I've never felt like my order or me, I don't know. Maybe I'm just digging too deep into it. We'll let it go. We'll let it go. This is my first time, so we'll let it go. Um, but... I will show y'all what I get once I go up to this window. What's the name? Why is Avia? There you are. Okay. Did they add the cookie to it? Let me see real quick. No. No, I don't see it. Let me let me go let them know. Here's a drink I had. Thanks. Time, Thanks. It's my Thank you. That. No, you're fine. You too. That was better service, y'all. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what was up with the guy who took my order. Uh, he's having a long day or what, but that was definitely better. Um, so, yeah, that was definitely that was like ten times better. Well, let me get over. So, I 
I'm about to this. I didn't get a cookie, so I got a cookie. I'll eat it later, probably while I get my nails done. I'm gonna eat my food probably before I go in there. Y'all know I don't like mm, whatever. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat my fries, and then my lettuce. All right, so I'm gonna sit in my car to finish eating my food. Um, working on these fries. Mm -hmm. So y'all, I was telling my husband about um, this Netflix series, documentary series that I watched. And it is FIFA Uncovered. It was so fucking good. I love documentaries anyway. And it was amazing on Netflix. So if you want to watch something, if you're into documentaries and you want to watch a good one, watch the um, FIFA Uncovered. People are so corrupt in this world. Greed is a thing. Greed is a thing. Uh, yeah. Um, that's what I want. And you know, uh -oh. I gotta get it out of there when I finish eating. But um, another thing is. Um, Christmas series movies. I love Christmas movies. All of them, special lifetime movies. Um, on Netflix, I think it's like Noel Diary. That's good. It's about a lady who's adopted. Mother worked for these this famous writer's parents who he no longer speak to or has seen in years, decades. And she will, his mom that, this is a spoiler, so if you're not, if you haven't watched it and you're gonna watch it, skip through this part. But his mom died, so he had to get like the house together and she showed up at the doorstep because she wanted to know, did they know her mom? Um, and then long story short, the writer and the young lady who's looking for her mom, um, her mom, they got together. Happily ever after. <laughs> but it was a good story though. It was a good story though. Um, so yeah. Um, I think that's what else is on Netflix that I don't watch? Excuse me. Oh, um, from scratch is good, but I didn't finish watching it because it was too fucking sad for me. That shit was too damn sad. Like it, mm -mm. I don't like movies that have me like real, like in my feelings, like crying and, and stuff. Like, mm -mm. it's too sad for me. Mm -mm. I'm not here to get to look at a movie to be sad. I'm here to enjoy myself. <laughs> and feel relaxed. I don't know. I didn't like it. I liked the movie. Don't get me wrong. I liked it. I liked it, but it was just happening in my feelings, like I said. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if I said this before, but this honey roasted barbecue Chick-fil-A sauce is right. I don't know why I would say smoke. I guess because the taste of it is like a smoke taste to me. So I'm not, I can't ever remember the name of it. So I always say smoke and it's definitely not as roasted. <laughs> But I put it on my nugget. I have a 12 count nugget. Which is really two chocolate tenders. <laughs> Alright, y'all. 
I'm about to go get out of the car and go to get my nails. I'll talk to y'all. Now get in there. Actually, Lucy, my trouble is Christmas. I just don't understand it. Instead of feeling happy, I feel sort of let down. I know how you feel about all this Christmas business, getting depressed and all that. It happens to me every year. Brazilian wax, I got my brows done, tinted lip, chin, and my toes. I don't know if I recorded the ending of my toes. I had to let you guys see my toes, the ending of my toes. I'm pretty sure I did record it, but if I didn't, I'll insert or record a little piece of it. Um, but yeah, I got my eyebrows tinted, and they always be dark on the first day, then they'll lighten up. But I really can record in there, like while they're, I was getting my services, because I feel like I guess, especially for my Brazilian, I feel like this is a like intimate part. So I don't, it's like hard for me to record while she's doing my Brazilian. So, um, so that's that. So, um, yeah, so that's that. So, um, I did get everything done. I am actually, I wanted to go to the Africans to get my hair washed and braided back. I can, I'm going to go to see how much it's going to cost. I'm just tired, y'all. I've been, I've been out of the house since 8 o'clock this morning and it's now 2 o'clock p.m. to get everything I need done, done. But I'm just tired. I am so tired. I'm just ready to go home and relax. And I know this, to get my hair done and all that will be another 45 minutes. But either way, I will have to do it myself. If I go home, I will have to do it myself. So it's still, I'm still not relaxing, but... I don't know i may just allow them to do it and so i can just go home and put my clip-ins in and straighten out my clip-ins and that'll be it that's done that's it and then my hair will be done and then i'll be full i'll have all of my maintenance done for these next two weeks um y'all this red on my nails is what's up yes on my toes i got let's be friends so if you guys know um let's be friends is opis like um hello kitty line that they collab with and i love that line but yes so my go-to colors pretty much with opi is funny bunny and bubble bath i usually get those combined that's what i use for my french tips usually i get bubble bath and then i put um funny bunny on top on like for the white tip part of it because i love the frostiness of um funny bunny uh, but anyway so that's usually my my tip like my um when i do my tips that's usually my go-to or let's be friends i'll do let's be friends i do let's be friends a lot on my on my um toes usually i don't never get plain white nails plain white toenails i know a lot of girl i know the girlies love that but that's just not a me thing i really um I don't know, like I like all colors, but white is not my go-to. Like I always have to have it, like I'm my way, no. Usually my go-to is, is a French tip, that's my go-to. If I don't get, I, I will stay in the, I can stay in a French tip all year long, to be honest. But um, the only reason why I don't, I try to change it up because of my husband. Uh, <laughs> he like my feet and he like the way they look. So I try to change it up just for him, but, um, if if it was up to me i would be like the girlies like white i like french tips so i would stay in a french tip the bubble bath and funny bunny but i don't 
Um, but yeah, so I got Let's Be Friends because Let's Be, Let's Be Friends kind of match my Christmas festive nails. Um, I was gonna get like a, I don't know, like Let's Be Friends is like a light white with a light pink mix. So it kind of matches, especially um, the pink acrylic that my nails, that I have on my nails. So I don't know, but I didn't want, I don't get red toes. I did red toes once and I liked it, but it's not for me. Um, I don't think I will ever do it again, but if I do, I do, but I, I don't think I will ever do it again. Um, so that's the reason why I didn't get the white tips again. Uh, I meant, sorry, the red toenails. Um, and I didn't know of another color that can match unless I go with Funny Bunny. Sorry, you guys. Unless I go with Funny Bunny. And I don't want to go with Funny Bunny because I pretty much just took it off. <laughs> so, um, I took it off the time before this time. Yeah, because I had Funny Bunny. Then I had this uh, burnt orangey looking color that I just took off. And then now I have Let's Be Friends. So, yeah. I didn't know what colors to get. But um, I was like... <laughs> I'll just stick with one of my go-tos. One of my, if I don't know what to eat, like I said before, my go-tos are my French tip with Funny Bunny and um, Bubble Bath, Let's Be Friends, or just Funny Bunny Plain. Those are my go-tos. So, yeah, we are about to head, I'm about to head to this African place to see how much they're gonna charge me to wash my hair and braid it down. I got my, I just bought my own shampoo. I got the Miel rice water and oh let me inform y'all the only reason why i'm getting my hair done by the africans because my beautician has went out on maternity leave so i'm trying to just keep my hair braided up under wigs or just keep it braided and just treat it and stuff like that um something opened and keep it treated so is it oh, it is this to keep it treated <laughs> um while she is on um, uh, maternity leave so um let's see of course i got more lashes i got to get this bag clean now they gave me an open pack of not that i was leaving samples and stuff they gave me an open pack of it and it's gotten on my stuff that i purchased i can't stand that anyway I got the rice water um, deep conditioner by Miel's, if y'all can see that. And it's for um, hair growth and, um, what's, it, what's it for? It's for hair growth and maintain retention. Uh, re retention. Oh, and then I got um, the rice water, the hydrating shampoo. And it is excellent for length retention. So I was right. So that is the shampoo. So I got that. Um, so that's what I'll be washing my hair. Either the Africans will wash my hair with or I'll wash my hair with it. All right, y'all. Let me go. Um, because I have gotten frustrated because this goddamn shampoo shit is fucking everywhere when I tell you. Everywhere. Put this shit in a fucking. Oh. Let me go. So I could throw it out the window. It's not everywhere. This makes no sense. No sense. It's not everywhere. <laughs> 